while racial barrier breaking actor and former Westchester resident Sidney Poitier has died. News 12's Carol Wilkinson spoke to members of our community on Poitier's lasting impact. They call me Mr. Tibbs. With his dignified yet powerful demeanor, Sidney Poitier commanded respect both on screen and off. Sidney Poitier is a legacy actor who uh, sacrificed his time, who was a genuine man, and if you take anything from his character, you will certainly have a better life. In 1964, the Bahamian American actor, film director, and ambassador became the first black person ever to win the Academy Award for Best Actor in the film Lilies of the Field. Amen. Sing it over. But long before his star rose in Hollywood, Poitier lived in this house at 95 Beekman Avenue in Mount Vernon. Residents we spoke with, saddened by his passing, but forever in awe of his life's contributions. He did good and he received good. He died at the age of 94. What more can you ask for? That's a blessing. It's a loss that's going to be felt. You know, we're losing our icons um, and, and new icons will come, but these are people who we grew up on. In addition to two Academy Award nominations, 10 Golden Globe nominations, a Grammy Award, and two Emmy Award nominations, Poitier was also a fierce advocate of the civil rights movement, donating his time and his financial support. He highlighted his activism by avoiding roles based on racial stereotypes, choosing instead to play dignified, well-respected gentlemen on screen. You can look at his work from Brooklyn a Preacher, from uh, Let's Do It Again, Uptown Saturday Night, which, all of which he directed, never mind which he, you know, he starred in. He is amazing. And in 2009, Poitier would also be awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama. Mr. Obama today remembering Sidney Poitier saying, he epitomized dignity and grace and the power of movies to bring us closer together. Sidney Poitier was 94 years old. Carol Wilkinson, News 12.